everybody, and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at a pair of mods that work coinciding with each other and are basically kin to a mod that we took a look at last week. That is the REA22 Center of Gravity mod and the REA Implements mod. But before that, this video is brought to you by Bella Kira and Chad Bergman. Thank you for being farm barons. So both of these mods can be found over at the farmingsimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And both of these mods are available for PC only because they are making script changes to the base game and therefore they will not work for console release. Now, what do these mods do? Well, just like the REA 22 Wheels mod from last week, they strive to bring an element of realism into the game that we typically do not see in the base game. What REA Center of Gravity does is it moves the center of gravity up a fair bit. As the description says, typically the center of mass is 25 centimeters above the rear wheel axle. Wheel width and twin tires now affect stability. Wire tires or twin wheels for more stability. Narrow tires for less stability. Well, you know what happens when you have a truck with a high center of gravity? Uh, you roll it. And you roll it quite easily. Especially on a slope. You're doing something, you know, stupid. Like turning hard. So this mod really brings a, a new level of excitement to the farm sim player. And that is the ability to, well, completely crash. And unlike base game vehicles, which often land on their wheels. These don't. And I lucked out there and getting it righted, but oftentimes you're not gonna be able to right the vehicle either on its own because of the fact, well, it has a high center of gravity and as a result, it doesn't just pop back down on its wheels. So you may want to use something like, you know, super strength to help you out. Now let's take a look at how this might affect other things, not just pickup trucks doing, you know, stupid things. So over here we have tractor, we have a cultivator. We're gonna use this for the second part of this video, but at any rate, we're just driving along and we make a turn, right? But what we have to be careful about now is the center of gravity on this implement is a lot higher than maybe it was uh, in the base game. And we could find ourselves basically in a scenario where we are Making too tight of a corner. And we get a little, uh, a little tipsy. So that's about the best I can do to try to demonstrate what the REA 22 center of gravity mod does. It increases the height of the center of gravity. And as a result, well, things can get a bit tipsier than one might be expecting especially after you have used the kind of the base game physics for vehicle stability for quite a while. Now, what is the other mod that we're gonna take a look at today? It is the REA 22 implements mod. And what this does is it tries to enhance and better reflect reality. The amount of force you need on implements that you are pulling through the field 
and also the amount of effort the vehicle needs to go through in order to harvest crop that is very heavy. A very good crop is going to be harder to harvest than maybe a crop that isn't been fertilized so well. Maybe a crop that has weeds is going to be a bit easier to harvest. And with respect to balers, if you are baling heavy material like grass, it's going to work harder on the tractor. If you're baling lighter material like hay or straw, then it's going to work a bit easier on the vehicles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate some things and we need to jump out of this particular save. I'm going to deactivate the REA implements mod and I'm going to show you base game. I'm going to show you what it's going to take to pull this cultivator through this plow field with this Fent Favert 515C, which is underpowered according to the horsepower suggestions for this cultivator. And then we're also going to use this roller through this field with the same tractor, which is underpowered once again, and demonstrate to you how well we can actually pull through this and then we're going to reboot and activate rea implements and do the exact same thing again and you're going to see how this mod works it's not super drastic so that's why i'm kind of extenuating the effect by running an underpowered tractor through a plowed field with an implement but you're going to see how this mod works and hopefully you're going to like how this mod works if you are a realism style player and you may be looking to add both of these to your mod folder so i brought the game back up i've deactivated the rea 22 implements mod and once again we're going to take this fent favorite we're going to use this cultivator i'm going to hit cruise control and we're going to basically see the speed and the gearing that we are using to traverse this plowed field. We are in fifth gear. We're going, we're in sixth gear. We're going around at basically 11 miles per hour is where we finished our little test run. 11 miles per hour in sixth gear. Now we're gonna come back across through the exact same path. And we're gonna see if we have basically any difference in speed. Now we're cultivating cultivated ground as opposed to cultivating plowed ground. We're gonna hire helper. Sorry, we're gonna go to just hit cruise control. Lower the implement, hit cruise control. We're going to go through the gears. We are in fifth gear at 11 miles per hour. So it doesn't look like we actually ever hit sixth gear that way, but we were going 11 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at our roller. Same test, same test. Roller is already lowered. We're just going to hit cruise control. Third gear. Fourth gear. Six, seven miles per hour. Which I think is pretty much the max for the roller anyway. And now we're going to roll across the field again this time we're going to roll on rolled ground in theory rolling on rolled ground is easier than rolling on softer rougher plowed ground and in theory cultivating cultivated ground is easier than cultivating plowed ground a lower roller Cruise control again. Third gear, six miles an hour. Let's 
Seven miles per hour. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and boot back up with the REA 22 implements mod activated. And we're going to perform the exact same test. So now with REA 22 implements activated, let's perform the exact same test. Let's lower the cultivator. We're going to hit three to turn on cruise control. And now we are cultivating across the plowed ground. We're up to fifth gear. We're going sixth gear. And we are at 11 miles per hour. Not too terrible bad. Not too terrible bad at all. come across the same ground this time this time same path this time cultivated ground three so not exactly the best test there but at any rate, I also wanted to show you something else is with this mod, the description says force is applied to pulling tools is now applied on the correct place. Left or right side can get less or more force depending on the ground type and state that is being used on each side. So it's a little difficult to show here. But one thing you can see the implement is not really following right behind the tractor. It's kind of making its own path through the ground, and that is kind of a byproduct of how basically the force is being applied to either side or the hole based on the type of soil that we are working with. But also, if we come over here and kind of cultivate partially in and partially off, you may notice that the cultivator is not quite square behind the tractors. It's skewed a little bit off to the side, and that is because it is basically having more force applied to the off-field portion than the on-field portion. Let's try to demonstrate that one more time here with plowed ground versus cultivated ground. It might be a little hard to see again but in theory the plowed ground is going to be harder to pull than the cultivated ground and the cultivator may skew a little bit to one side as a result now in my testing this test was a bit more obvious of how this mod works again this mod doesn't go to extremes. Sometimes the effect is subtle, but it is there. So we are going to now roll plowed ground, which should be much harder than rolling rolled ground on our return path. So cruise control on. And we are four miles an hour. Second gear third gear so we are having a heck of a time pulling this roller across plowed ground third gear four miles per hour that seems to be where we have settled out at now we will make a return pass through the ground that we just rolled and we should see that the roller is a lot easier to pull and as a result, the tractor is under significantly less load. Just kind of get lined up here. And we will activate our cruise control. And now we are rolling fourth gear, fifth gear, five miles per hour, six miles per hour, seven miles per hour in fifth gear, mind you. 
So, in essence, significantly easier to pull the rolled, the roller, sorry, over rolled ground than it was plowed ground. And you can compare how that was versus with and without the mod. Now we're going to jump over to a baler setup that I've got set up. And we're going to take the implements mod out once again. We're going to bale grass and hay and see basically how the baler reacts there. And then we're going to boot it up with implements and do the same test like we just did here. As I said in the kind of the intro segment, also what this mod does is it causes balers to work harder, to pull harder on the tractor when baling heavy material. So what we have here is I've got a Massey Ferguson 7718S. I've got a Kloss Quadrant Baler. The tractor is once again underpowered compared to the baler. So here we have the Massey Ferguson 210 horsepower. And then we have our baler. And it requires 250 horsepower. So we are 40 horsepower down already with respect to this tractor. We have the REA Implements mod deactivated at this point. You can see that we are going through this material at 11 miles per hour. You see where the tack is. It is between 1900 for the most part and 2000, dipping down a little bit into the 1800s. But overall, we're going 11 and 10 miles per hour. Now, when we jump over here to the equivalent hay windrow, Same thing, and we heard the tractor maybe bog down just a wee little bit, but we're going 10 and 11 miles per hour with our with our gauge there basically between 18 and 20. Now what we're gonna do is once again boot the save up in with REA22 implements activated, and we're gonna perform the same test. And let's just take a look and see how well this underpowered tractor manages to pull through the grass versus the hay. We now have the implements mod activated. So let's go ahead and lower our baler, turn it on. And remember, we didn't really have any issue baling our grass the last time. Now we are baling away. Ten miles per hour but if you look at the tachometer there we are dipping down a little bit nine miles per hour here toward the end eight miles per hour so as we were getting kind of toward the end we were dipping down there between eight and nine miles per hour like I said, the effect is subtle, and I like that it's subtle. It's not, it's not a super heavy effect that really completely changes things. Now here we are taking in hay. You see now we are bouncing between 10 and 11 miles per hour. Pretty, pretty significantly. So we are definitely bailing faster through the hay than we were bailing through the grass. This is just my quick, dirty way of trying to demonstrate the effect. I know it was probably more subtle than maybe some people had hoped to have seen, but I did try to kind of demonstrate on demand how this particular mod or these pair of mods work. They are once again the REA 22 Center of Gravity and the REA Implements mod. Both are linked down in the description below. Both would be excellent companions to the REA 22 wheels mod that we already took a look at in order to bring more realism into farming simulator 22 let me know what you think down in the comments below with respect to the center of gravity mod it's a fun little toy it's a fun little toy to mess around with uh, but just be ready because you might find yourself flipping a lot more than before and then we have the re22 implements mod I like how it really changes 
how you are working in the field. And really, you're going to be doing some heavy groundwork. You're really going to be needing much bigger tractors than maybe you do in the base game. So until next time, happy farming.